Well, we're back with the two-year-old uh, racing uh, bred quarter horse stallion. And uh, we're seeing such a big change today. You know, when you're starting these young horses, and this is a uh, colt starting session, but it'd been nice if you could have started when he was this big. Just being a part of his life, like the wind and the sky, the sun, the birds, uh, his mama. Anyway, anything that would he would not feel threatened by. And that's how I want to be a part of his life. So really took a lot of time yesterday. Yesterday, obviously, making a big breakthrough right now. So, But we're going to work them uh, every day like they are today. I'm not going to try to work him the way I want him next week or next month or next year. Work with him like he is today. Do a good job. And guess what? Maybe tomorrow he'll be a little better. And the next day a little better. Boy, and we're seeing that right here and right now. So uh, I'm just, again, rubbing with my rope here, using that rope, come around both sides. And uh, right here, I'm gonna kind of bring him over here where you can see a little bit, kind of make a little turn here. And I'm gonna let this rope do a little bit of the work for me. So I've been touching his legs here. So I'm gonna take this rope and just put it like this. Here, just let it touch him. What did I tell you? I want this horse gentle from the first whisker in his nose to the last hair in his tail. People always say to me, Craig, how do you start picking up this feet? This isn't a bad way. Remember, we've already been scratching his cannon bones. But watch me just put a little pressure, and as he picks it up, I just give it right back today. Not ask for too much too fast right here. So I can come away the same way here, here, here. This big heart girth here, that's where that cinch is gonna go. That saddle someday up on top and just touch him like that. Touch him, put a little pressure there. Come on back to the back just like that. See, I'm rubbing that belly. And here, just come on back. I'm gonna touch him right there on those flanks. Touch him, touch him. Not looking to get kicked, so I wanna prepare him. Now I use my rope like so and just touch him, touch him, touch him. Watch, I'm gonna try to pick up that back foot. See him pick it up? I think I'll just set it down right there, and that's a good start. Remember, this is just a good start today. I'm not in a rush, and I'm not in a hurry, and I hope you won't be either. See, it's not about how fast I can do it. It's about how good I can do it. I'm laying a foundation, a foundation of what? Trust, respect, confidence. Those components I just mentioned, you either gain them or you lose them. You tell me what you did with your horse yesterday. I'm hoping that I'm gaining the trust, gaining the respect, gaining the confidence by the way I'm presenting life to this horse. So I'm gonna just go right up over these ears. This way I'd have to bridle him someday over those ears. So everything I do has a reason, a meaning, and a purpose. Everything that I do. I'm gonna see if I can get him to turn to the right. We did a little bit of that yesterday, and now he's showing me this side of him here, the right or all side. And I'm gonna do the same thing again. Just touch him up, touch him up. Let the rope do the work. See, I'm gonna pick that foot up, just give it right back. That's good enough for now, good enough. I think I'll work that heart girth just a little bit here. Just pick it up and, just, and, and you'll get smooth by doing this all the time just and you can work this kind of stuff you don't have to have a colt get your old gentle horse to, to to work your timing your technique and and how you're doing this stuff see here 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 touch him here here all the way back now i'm gonna go to that back foot see if i can get that to happen i just keep rubbing him and petting him rubbing him and petting him all the time set that rope right down on that leg just like that let the rope do the work. I'm gonna, he's gonna, got all his weight right there. There you go. Beautiful. Not bad. I'm gonna put this up over his ears again. And he's a nice tall horse. He really got some size, this horse here. Here. I'm gonna ask him to turn. I'm setting it up for a left hand turn here. And well, that work paid off really good yesterday. Now, Let's stick with the foundation work here just for a minute. See, I can get to where I can throw that rope all over this horse. And, and if you watch the uh, video from yesterday, what a tremendous change here on this horse. 
Beautiful change. We love seeing it. Just letting that rope do a lot of the work right there, right there, and right here. I'm going to throw it around his hocks a little bit. I'm not spanking him with it. I'm not making sure it's not hitting him in a way that forces him to leave. It's almost more like a way like, like his tail would do to swish those flies away here, here. And he'll get to where he kind of likes it. He understands what? That it's not going to hurt him. So it's here to my foundation right here. I'm going to come in here and just see if I can bend him a little bit. We did this yesterday. You want to get this where that's so soft and so good. So that when you get on his back, you're not going to just be at the mercy of this horse. You're going to be able to bend him or turn him right and left. We worked on bringing his head down yesterday. Let's see if we can get this there. That's a start right here, there, and there. What are we teaching him? About giving and yielding to pressure. Down the trail, it'll be with our hands, our bits, our legs, our reins, our spurs, our lead rope, on the ground, on his back, physically, mentally, emotionally, mind, body, and spirit. I'm gonna come around this side here now. I wanna just keep this going and really get it good. Here, bending, beautiful. One more time, beautiful, outstanding. Now, I'm gonna send this horse on the lead line this time. I'm gonna send him. So I'm gonna set it up for him to go somewhere. It's closed over there to his left, right there, open to his right as he travels left. My position is really important here. I'm kind of at an angle driving him. If you step in front of that horse, why would you be surprised if he stopped? I can swing my rope. We're working a shorter line now, laying that foundation. I'm gonna push him, push that hip. Wait a moment, not in a hurry because he's learning how, and off he goes. Good. See, I touched him with that rope. You can see him just kind of coil up there, touch him, you can see him right there. That white rope, really he can see it. And that's why the white rope is good sometimes. Everybody wants the black one because they always say that uh, it doesn't show the dirt, but see how he's having to really see and put up with this white rope. There. <whistles> Bring him on back. Beautiful. Beautiful. See, I got him coming to me instead of me going to him. Everything I do, laying in that foundation of trust. And trust, from his point of view, will be a belief that you'll never do anything to hurt him. You can't do anything to hurt the horse. Remember, anything that's hurting the horse as you're training, to me, is incorrect. I'm not interested in that. I know he isn't. Now, we're going to make a little change. We're going to the flag. Yes, and we did introduce that flag yesterday, but uh, he was a little bit cautious to that, and I'm not in a rush. I'm not in a hurry here. So what I can do is just get to where I can rub him with this flag. Just start out nice and easy here. See how I got it coiled up in my hand a little bit? Here, just touch him up. Not looking to get kicked or bit or pawed, but if you try to go too fast and, and offer it up without any presentation, now that's what's gonna happen, especially on a stud horse here. So I just rub him up here, touch him up here. Now I step away and I, I don't have a hold of it, but I'm just rubbing him up. You can watch his, his ears. Look at his ears. That, again, that he's, not, he's pretty concerned about that flag right there. I mean, he's really watching it. So you watch it. To me, I always say when they tip that jaw away from you and drop that ear, you be careful. Now you be careful. Here, that's not an I love you look, see? There, so I touch him here, 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 and you're okay. This is all meant to gentle the horse. And, and again, it's just a form of sacking the horse out. You know, in the old days they called sacking, they'd, they'd use a like a burlap feed sack and roll it up and get to where they could put it all over the horse. And, that's how that name started. So if he needs to leave, I'll let him leave. Let him leave. Better, 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 better. And pretty soon he'll get to where he likes it because I really am 
knocking those flies off of him today. You watch real close, you can see those flies buzzing away from him when I use this. And what should I do next? Well, you should know by now, everything I do on one side, I need to do it on the other. So I'm gonna put it back in my hand since I'm switching eyes here, switching eyes, come over here. It's taking my time. Remember everything we did on one side, I'm dang sure gonna do it on the other. If he needs to leave, look at it, that head goes up. He's thinking about leaving, but I let him leave if that's what he feels like he needs to do. See, I'm coming over his back into his right eye. That's important. I gotta be careful if he's spooked from that right eye, he doesn't go over the top of me. And I'm trying to touch him all over, all over, even up here on his face. I wanna be careful. I wanna get to where he's really good about every bit of this, every bit. What does he need to figure out? He needs to figure out that it's not gonna hurt him. And when he believes that, shoot, man, you do anything you want with him right there. Good. You see, I'm you really hear that. I'm getting a little more aggressive with it. Not too much, but just enough. I'm touching him where that cinch is going to go, where the back cinch is going to go. Good. Along those legs. Good. He, he may not like that. He has to get to where he can accept it. Yesterday, he didn't like that. That's a blind spot, and he really boogered at that yesterday, doing better. You see, I'm really kind of taking my time right here with this thing, because I really want it to be good. And I tell people, when you don't take the time to do it right and to get it right, guess what? You end up leaving holes in your horse, and that those holes are gonna come back to haunt you. Now, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna actually move him with the flag now. See how he's dropped his head and went to licking his lips right there and uh, blinking his eyes, wiggling his ears, dropping his head. I mean, that's the kind of stuff we're looking for. We're be aware uh, of those gestures so you, so you know what your horse is doing and how he's feeling. All right, uh, looking good right now. And when we come back, we'll continue on. <laughs>